Hello to everyone, and a special salute to all you soldiers. I wanted to do this video in tribute to my brother. His name is Don. He was United States Army. He's retired now. He's Chief Warrant Officer. He's retired. He resides in Huntsville, Alabama now. Uh, his final years in the service was at Redstone Arsenal, uh, he was in missiles, you know, missiles, and my brother's a wonderful person. I, I could never even hold a candle to him. Uh, he went in service back in 1965, and he was trained at Fort Polk, Louisiana. He had extensive jungle training, and they had assigned him to Vietnam. But my brother also had missile training, so they already had his orders uh, to go to Vietnam, and I never will forget it. My dad was walking the floors. He come in there. He said, boy, he said, come out here and sit down on the back porch with me. Well, I knew he wanted to talk to me. We had a pear tree out back behind the garage. We lived in Oak Cliff on Pembroke Street, and I uh, had a real nice pear tree. I never will forget it. Those pears were delicious, but... He told me, he said, boy, go get us a couple of pears. Well, I knew he wanted to talk to me. So I went out there and I picked out two good pears and brought them up there. And he had the salt shaker. And my daddy drank Ham's beer. <laughs> and I had some water. I had a whole gallon of water. As a matter of fact, uh, back then we didn't have plastic jugs. I had a glass jug of uh, fresh water that I got out of the sink and kept it cold, put it in the refrigerator and everything. But we sat down and my dad told me, he said, boy, he said, I am really concerned about Don. He has received orders to go to Vietnam. And uh, we were watching on uh, television in the evenings the, uh, the unloadings of the caskets at uh, Love Field Airport, Dallas, Texas, of the soldiers that had been killed in uh, Vietnam. They were unloading them. Uh, the caskets were draped with the United States flag. And uh, I'll never forget as long as I live. But my dad was truly burdened about this. And he walked the floor and he uh, was very concerned and my brother was getting ready to go, unbeknownst to us, to Vietnam. And uh, he received orders that stopped the orders for his shipment to Vietnam. And they said, we need you. You're valuable in the missiles, missiles, I call it. And so they sent him to Germany instead. And my brother was stationed in Germany for years. Uh, then he was sent to North Korea. Well, you know, Korea, right there on the border with North Korea. And uh, he stayed there for so many years. And then he left there and he went to the Redstone Arsenal and he was an electronics teacher in missile, missile electronics. And uh, I just wanted to come on here and kind of give a tribute to my brother and all of you wonderful people in the United States Army and all the forces of the United States of America, I give you all a special salute. And to all of you that lost your brothers in Vietnam, I am very sorrowed that you lost your precious brother. I don't know what we would have done had we lost Don back in the 60s. So I, I know how so many of you feel in the Air Force and the Marines and the United States Army, the casualties, the people that were injured and the people that were killed and gave their lives for our nation. A special tribute to you all. God bless America. God bless America. Please hit the like button and do subscribe. I'm Grandpa Hickory. I appreciate you all. God bless America.